I visited several times and I just really felt that Asbury fit who I was. Uh, the people that I stayed with that hosted me were just amazing and I felt like I left the visit weekend with better friends than, than I had you know, in high school. It was, it was incredible. Like, I just really felt like I fit at Asbury. I've never been to another college, but I, I hear people tell me all the time that there's no other place like this place. The second I walked into Hughes, I just felt God's presence, and I was like, this is definitely where I'm going to school. And Asbury's actually the only school that I applied to, so it's really good that I got in. Coming to Asbury was like a whole new world for me. And I was so used to in high school, everyone else that surrounded me was not a Christian at all. And then here, it was like God was everywhere. And like going to chapel and seeing this whole room like filled with people that wanted to praise God, it was just amazing. And it's a beautiful experience to enter into Hughes three days a week with the entire campus community and have an opportunity to worship God. It sets the tone spiritually for our campus. Like that's when we all come together. We're all growing in the Lord, but this is when we take an hour to grow together. The worship is taken from Hughes onto campus into the different activities that people are involved with. It's not just worshiping at Hughes. It's living a life together, living a life together before God in everything we do. It's great to have professors who share that same passion for Christ so that the classroom is a sanctuary for worship, like to worship God with our minds. I love how in a lot of times I hear one thing in the class and then suddenly it's like another class and I can connect the two things together. And then like I hear it in chapel and I can connect what I've heard in chapel to those classes and see how just all those pieces fit together to make this amazing big mosaic of God's truth. Such a distinctive of Asbury is that the faculty and staff care about you. Um, they care about you as a person, not just as a student. They care about my future and they care about um, what God is doing in my life. One thing that Asbury stresses is uh, missions and serving and all that and I kind of struggled with that because I'm like, well, you know, I have all these physical problems. What can I do? I can't go to Africa and come back with this like amazing story. I was able to talk with my mentor about it. And she showed me that um, it doesn't have to be like this amazing story going somewhere else. It could be right here and God could just use your talents right here. And that's really impacted me. I'm not just a Christian when I go to church or when I'm at Asbury and Chapel. I want to be a believer of Christ anywhere I go and I want His light to shine through me wherever I go and want to help to build His kingdom and that should not be limited to any facility or any place or even any country that I go. You're going to be challenged here and you're going to be pushed here and you're going to meet amazing people in an amazing place that God is definitely moving in. Probably one of the biggest things that Asbury has done for me is it's been a place for me to grow. I have definitely become a different person, um, a better person. I've made a lot of really close friends who um, I, I know that even after I leave this campus, you know, that we'll still be praying for one another. Being able to pray together and just to go to the altar and I've had friends who have just been there for me to pray or I've been able to pray for someone. I have grown so much. God has challenged me. My faith has become real. It's being together, encouraging each other, and living our life to honor and glorify God. The biggest impact we can make is to live a completely surrendered life to God and to let Him mold us and use us right where we are. The place you want to be is in the place where you can't do it, but God can. So that when it gets done, it's obviously God. Put me in the challenging places. Put me in the places where I can make an impact, but where it's obviously the Lord and it's not by my own ability.